you don't want to level up Aurora's armor ever. You don't want to level up Aurora's armor because Yasmin targets the enemy with the lowest armor. So if you can keep Aurora's armor below your enemy team, that enemy Yasmin will always target your Aurora. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? Okay, so three skins. Three skins. Uh, the first one in alphabetical order is Aurora. And this skin not only is, in my opinion, the best looking of all of the Aurora skins with a close second of the Nordic skin. Although I've said this many times, I'm actually not that big a fan of the look of Aurora. I like her story and I like her skill sets. I like what she does, but the, the way the way that she looks, like her skins, I've not been a big fan of it. I've not been a big fan of it. The color scheme and the artwork seems to be pretty strong on this romantic skin. And magic penetration, magic penetration here, actually, let's, uh, her magic penetration is, it's always been good for a tank, right? It's always been good for a tank, but now she has the fifth most magic penetration. Let's, uh, let's paint this green. All right, so there's, there's Aurora's magic defense. You guys can see that well enough. That's fine. 17,000. 600 magic penetration penetration not magic defense this is an incredibly impactful skin for a couple of reasons but the most important remember the number 17,600 look at these magic defense okay so you have you have tanks with magic defense right and by the way 31 115 is is luther's post rework magic defense you kind of you kind of get down to the 23 here there's 22 heroes 22 heroes that have better magic defense than she has magic penetration. But before, before she got this skin, right? A bonus 10,650. She only had what? 10,650. Let's see. Math Monday, guys. She had, she had about 7k. Let's just, let's just call it 7k magic penetration. So with only 7k magic penetration, there were 42 heroes. There were 42 heroes that had better magic defense than she did at base before magic penetration artifacts were added. So this skin, this skin makes her more effective against more than a third of the heroes than she was before. She's going to be doing full damage to over a third more of the heroes than she was before. Hero Wars Mobile has 56 heroes before she got this new skin. 42 of those heroes had better magic defense than she had magic penetration. Even Daredevil had better magic defense. Now, what does that mean? Like, if 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 you're completely one-for-one one ignoring magic defense, then it means your magic attacks are doing 100% of the damage. Uh, if, you, if you're curious about how the formula works, go over to HeroWarsCentral.com, go to what are hero stats right here, and then you kind of scroll down a little bit, and you can see the numbers. With 3,000 magic defense, you block 50% of magic damage. So if you if you take a look like at the next handful, the next 20 or so heroes were cutting her magic defense in half. I'm sorry, they were cutting her magic damage in half. They were cutting Aurora's magic damage in half or greater. With this skin, all but 22 heroes, she's going to be doing full damage against, right? So 34, 35 heroes she's doing full damage against, whereas before she was only doing it to like, you know, 14 heroes. So this, this magic penetration skin is such a huge deal, guys. It is such, it's such an important skin for Aurora because it takes her from being this tank that you include in lineups for randomness. You include Aurora because she has a chance at winning where potentially she might not have because her main mitigation is dodge, right? If you plan her well, you keep her armor skin low, right? She becomes a target for Yasmin, and she can potentially mitigate a lot of Yasmin's damage through dodging. You can argue about whether or not she's a top tier tank on Hero Wars Mobile, but a lot of people consider her a top three tank on Hero Wars Mobile. Now, if I were a brand new player, would I level up Aurora? I'm not sure that I would. You would have Aurora, right? You get her from basically day one. Uh, would I tell a brand new player to level up Aurora as a tank? It would be a very difficult early game, right? Until Aurora gets that dodge skin and her dodge glyph leveled up and her dodge book and her dodge artifact weapon leveled up. She's a tough tank to level. She's a tough tank to use, very difficult to use. She dies very quickly, right? Low health, low armor, low magic defense. By, by design, you know, you want low magic defense because of the rainbow halo ability. So if she's been a solid tank all along, this is just a, this is just an, an exceptional damage increase to her. And she did have pretty high magic attack before. She's not a top tier magic attack. She's not a mage, but she's still going to do a ton of damage. So if you 
have Aurora anywhere in your top 20, I would recommend doing everything you can to get this skin. The other two, I'm a little less excited on. Why the dodge, not the armor? Manta, you you don't want to level up Aurora's armor ever. You don't want to level up Aurora's armor because Yasmin targets the enemy with the lowest armor. So if you can keep Aurora's armor below your enemy team, that enemy Yasmin will always target your Aurora. Another great pairing with Aurora is Anvari. Anvari's Nature's Barrier will cover the lowest armor ally with the Protective Barrier. If you can keep your Aurora's armor lower than your Lars and your Krista or your Daredevil or you know all these other heroes, if you can keep her armor low, Anvari will protect Aurora with the shield. Yasmin will always target Aurora with her attack, right? right? Because Aurora on mobile only targets the enemy with the lowest armor. Let me find it. Her ultimate says paralyzes the enemy with the lowest armor for three seconds. So if you, if you do not level her armor skin up, which I recommend that you do not, there is a number, I think, I think there's, uh, there's some number and mobile, mobile experts, please let me know. There is some number that you can level up her armor skin too, but you never want to go higher than that. But until you know for sure what that number is, don't level up Aurora's, don't even unlock Aurora's armor skin. Just do not do it. I'm feeling a little pressure to buy the skins. Richard, I, I mean, I feel you, man. I, I understand completely. There is, there's a lot of concern with these three skins right now. If you have, yeah, if you have Martha on your team, Yasmin will, all, all right. So before we move on, let's, let's, uh, let's change this up. Z to A. So Aurora's armor at max is 14,000, Manta, right? Aurora's armor at max is 14,000. That's including leveling up Aurora's armor skin. If you look at the skin, the skin provides 10,650 armor. 10,650. So if you subtract 10,650 from 14,000, that's less than 3,000 armor if you don't level up Aurora's armor skin at all. 3,000 armor is less than 5,400 armor. Am I right? I am right. Yasmin will always target Aurora if you keep her armor below Martha. 